The National Institute of Epidemiology was established in 1999 and at that time the major mandate for the institute was to strengthen health workforce in the country in epidemiology. Uh, the institute decided to start its first degree program in 2001 under the leadership of uh, Dr. Gupte. Then in 2008, we started another course, which is called as Masters in Public Health. And in 2011, we merged these two courses into one course, which is uh, Masters in Public Health in Applied Epidemiology and Health Systems. These courses are primarily made for uh, medical officers working in state health department. This institute doesn't charge any fees uh, for the candidates who are sponsored by the state health department. These courses are competency-based courses. And at the end of this course, uh, the students uh, acquire these competencies. There are seven core competencies, including mastering the concepts and principles of epidemiology, public health surveillance, outbreak investigations, conducting public health research with an ethical perspective, comprehending the biological, social, behavioral, and environmental determinants of health, communicating science to both lay and professional audience, and to be able to design, implement, and evaluate public health interventions. These competencies are delivered during the two years program. We have initiated two new training programs in the year 2018. A National Institute of Epidemiology is the South Hub for India EIS program, which aims to build capacity of program managers for outbreak investigations, infectious disease surveillance, and implementation science. Over the years, the disease landscape is changing in India, and we know that now non-communicable diseases account for majority of the disease burden across the country. Keeping this in mind, we initiated a new program called FETP for Non-Communicable Disease Fellowship, which aims to build capacity of state and district program managers to smoothly carry out the non-communicable disease programs in various states. One of the things which we have learned over years is that the professionals who seek admission in our courses, they face difficulty in getting two-year continuous study leave. Keeping this in mind, the new programs that we have structured are part-time programs. They require our doctors to spend only 14 weeks on campus and rest of the time they can do field projects in their own places of posting. While they are in the field, we support them by one-to-one -one mentoring and also by weekly seminars, which provide them an opportunity to share the work they are doing and also to cover some of the com components of curriculum. We do have a three-tier mentoring system to make sure learning takes place while doing or by doing. The first level of mentoring is from that of the line manager or supervisory authority of the FETP scholar in the health system. This mentor will guide and facilitate identifying and aligning the health system priorities with that of the FETP deliverables. Second level of mentoring is by an FETP graduate. As an alumni of the FETP program, she or he will be able to connect with the FETP deliverables and therefore match the expectations with that of the real life situation. Third is a mentor and co-mentor combination available from the faculty pool at the school. Faculty mentor is from the School of Public Health and facilitates the transformation of the academic learning to real-life field-based projects and thereby helps in the acquisition of competencies. We believe our FETP program is different and exceptional. It is very gratifying to be a faculty of our FETP program because we not just improve their capacity as a knowledge, we improve their capacity as a skill set. And our graduates have exceptional skills who bring change in the health system. That's why our research, implementation research, actually identify the solutions from the grassroots problems and it is not just addresses the priorities. As our students are not only students but they are public health professionals with lot of field experience and therefore they keep us grounded in the reality. Classroom itself is very unique because people come here from all over India and bring diverse perspectives. NI is now in 20th year of uh, its field epidemiology training. And as a faculty of uh, these courses, as well as the director of this institute, I feel very proud to be associated with the institute, associated with these courses, and for the contribution that these courses have done towards strengthening the public health workforce in the country.